Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I will show you the Samsung MDC control versus the Samsung Remote Management. Now, the Samsung MDC stands for Multiple Display Control and it's no longer supported by Samsung. Samsung previously released this in order to control your displays remotely. Now, as you might see, the interface is a bit more outdated, um, but it was allowing you to, for example, change the volume, uh, enable auto source switching. Uh, make any kind of changes on your display for example the picture mode the color tone but also the brightness and so on so settings which are picture related same goes for the sound you were able to adjust the sound from this system remotely um, same goes for the video wall for the multi screens for the channels the picture in picture source the auto power on and off remote control and there are many more security options available right here as well. Now Samsung released this tool quite a while ago um, and they decided to no longer support this anymore. Hence we would like to show you the alternative solution, which is the remote management. Now if we sign into Magic Info and to the remote management server, this is then the dashboard that I will see once I'm signed into my remote management account. And if I click on device, I will get an overview of all my devices connected in remote management mode. I can here use the quick control to send out some commands. As you can see, they're quite similar to the MDC system. However, you can then control them now in the newer interface and it's for remote management. Now, if I click on remote control, a new window will open. And right here, I can actually watch along with the displays to check what the alternative source is showing. Since we're using URL launcher, we're using a SSSP application for content. Now with remote management, you can retrieve a lot of data from the display, such as firmware, player version, and as you can see, also storage and much more. I can also enable on and off times for my displays in case you want to automate this and not do this manually every single day. So you simply switch on the on timer, decide a time you want the displays to switch on and a time to, for the displays to switch off. Right here at the setup, you can cha make changes to the time zone network and the period interval, for example. At the display control, you can make a lot of changes as well, such as the OSD, the on-screen display for notifications. And you can make changes for the colors of the display, the sound of the display. Um, you can enable auto source switching if you want, but you can also enable the remote configuration, which is something we recommend to always switch on, because this means whenever your display is switched off, you can then switch it back on again from the server. So if this option is switched off, you need to do it manually with the remote controller. So that's why it's always convenient to say switch it on and save it. And furthermore, we have some advanced security settings here as well which allow you to secure your display even further. For example, use the remote control lock, which means that people cannot use a universal remote control to take over your display. Now the ports can also be locked, the Wi-Fi, the USB, uh, screen monitoring, and many other possibilities as you can see. So these are the differences and actually the following up of the MDC software. Um, so it's now called Samsung Remote Management. And it's a really great tool in case you're working with an alternative content distribution system, but you would still like to fully control your hardware displays remotely. Then Samsung Remote Management is definitely what you need. Interested in more information? Feel free to send us an email. Thanks for watching.